The last day to apply for a recount for warrant articles is March 20th, 2018. That's tomorrow. Uh, town clerk's office is open until 5 p.m. The last day to submit applications for veterans, elderly, blind, and disability exemptions and for the Hampton Beach property tax exemption is April 16th. That's a Monday. It's normally the 15th, but it falls on a Sunday, so it's extended one day. Please see the assessor's office for the required forms. There are extensive forms that need to be filled out uh, in order to apply for the exemption under the statute. Town meeting approved an all-service veterans tax credit. If you are not now receiving a veterans tax credit and have served in the armed forces of the United States for not less than 90 days on regular active duty, you should visit the assessor's office, complete the necessary forms, and return them not later than April 16th, 2018. You will be required to provide a copy of your DD-214 with the completed forms. Sometimes they're difficult to find, so I'm mentioning it now. We'd like everybody to, that applies to, to get those forms in properly. Town and school reports are available upstairs in the town office in the front lobby. Please come and take some. We have a few left over, <laughs> and we'd like to make sure that everybody in town gets one that needs one. The uh, police department has announced that they are in the process of taking applications for part-time police officers. They'll be testing on April 7th. Those selected will attend the academy in August and November 2018 and then work in the summer of 2019. Please call the police department for complete details. Also, <clears throat> excuse me, hopefully that, that doesn't lose itself tonight. Um, I did give the, the board a report on the shoreline erosion at Bicentennial and Stimson Parks. Uh, I just want to make the notation that uh, some time ago uh, the board was asked and approved to install large stones be in front of the uh, existing seawall. Mm -hmm. um, we have a report saying that uh, it was a good idea because if they had not been there, that seawall probably would have failed. Mm -hmm. We don't know for sure. but it, it took heavy damage in this particular storm. In fact, some of the coating on the wall has been stripped right off, some of the concrete. Um, there was a, I think I've mentioned it a couple of times in the past, a, a huge freshet back in the uh, early 1700s that in fact blew out this whole section of the North Beach and all of what is now High Street and filled, filled up what is now Meadow Pond. So. We certainly don't want to repeat that. <laughs> that would be quite a traumatic event. But uh, the, the material held. Uh, we have a lot of cleanup work to do, but things are in relatively good shape up there. Thank Super. you, Mr. Chairman. Regina. Um, Mr. Town Manager, I have a question. I, we, it looks like you sent out a letter dated today for the administration of parking lots. Yes. I did. Yep. Um, Trust it to the board. Yes. Well, I just wanted to say that it looks like we're going to, so for the summer of 2018, what would be the... Uh, we're, we're not changing personnel or anything like right, that. Exactly. We're just changing the modus operandi and which, how we collect. And mm -hmm. we're, we're going to try to set up a system so that we could collect without having people handling money and checks and all those sorts of things that normally happen in these sorts of situations. Um, we would like to look at... Um, purchasing, if town meeting approves, uh, the type of uh, units that the state uses at the beach or the city of Portsmouth uses and several other cities and towns in the area use to take in cash. We have a lot of activities that go on after school starts and we don't have right. personnel to man the lots, so we lose a lot of money. If we had these particular facilities there, and we really have to spend some time looking at this and analyzing it and bringing information back to the board, um, then we, we would be able to bring, I hope, an article to town meeting that makes sense and have the town fund the necessary expenses, um, perhaps some surplus, perhaps some appropriation, depends on how the board feels about that, to keep these lots open more lo or longer so we can, in fact, make more money in our enterprise that we're actually operating, which means we can defray more taxes as we go along. Um, one of the things we'd like to do, at least for this year, but we're trying to get things organized is to, uh, because of the, the cash that we're handling, um, the, the auditors have on several occasions criticized the town for the method in which we handle the cash. 
I understand the auditor's uh, situation and their complaints, and they look at things like uh, the way other cities and towns do this, and we do it differently. Uh, so we'd like to streamline <coughs> that so that we're actually running everything into the police department, which is right next door, mm -hmm. and, and, and locked bags, and then it's taken to the bank, uh, and the bank takes care of the auditing for us and the assessing for us and accounting for us and the processing and crediting for us, which saves a lot of time and trouble um, and, and sort of assures the, the auditors that we're doing it right and we have control over it. Not that anybody's doing anything wrong. Correct. It's just that the auditors would like to have a better system and they've complained yeah. several times about yeah. it. So it's, we're not going to get rid of any employees. We're not going to do that. We're just going to try to change the system and monitor it, see how well it works and whether or not it's a good process. This is only for one year. And that's all we're going to do it for is one year. We're asking the police department to give us assistance during that year. And it will be minimal assistance because we already have some very good people working for us down there. You need a motion or anything on that? Uh, I'm, d I'm sort of requesting that the board uh, say that they have no objection to doing it. Um, we need to, in fact, we need to look at closer what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We need to Definitely. protect our employees. Definitely. We need to protect the people who are using the facilities. Mm -hmm. And we lead, need to optimize the amount of money we put in the Treasury. Yes. Those are three very important things. Okay. So, yes, I, I would like the board's permission to go ahead and do that. I think it's a grand idea. I'll make a motion for, for one year. We go with this recommendation until we can find out how we can straighten it out for the one year. Oh. I'll second. Oh. Any discussion? Well, I was just going to say I'd like to see a stipulation that we're looking toward perhaps um, funding this and getting the machinery and so forth. That this, we have a goal in doing this study. I think we we I do, and it's in the memorandum that right. the intention is to bring an article forward to town meeting at the right. selectmen approve it. But I think that should be incorporated in the motion. That's, that's fine. fine. Well, not that's everybody's fine. going to have okay. it. So. That's, that's true. fine. I mean, we, I brought it up last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before uh, the election. before the election that we were going to that this year we needed to talk about it, and so I think that's this is what's bringing yeah. that forward. True. Yeah. And you know, you look at every town around us. You look at every town. I don't know many towns that have collections. Yeah. You know, they all go to the automated and stuff, and I think it's it's just far better. So, okay, yeah. that's all my in favor. Motion. Opposed, unanimous. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, any other questions, Regina Rusty? Mm -hmm. Nope. I'm all set. Mary Louise. Ah, I see that the state has asked for the town's lawsuit to, to be put off until or start uh, May first rather than April first. And yeah, the board did consent to that. Yeah. But that was, thank you for that information. Um, when you and I spoke a couple of days ago, you mentioned something about your um, effort at incorporating or um, fine tuning the ethics section of the Code of Ordinances. Um, is that complete? Do you need a motion on it? What? The board, the board did complete the effort, and it is completed. Uh, uh, it will. We're, we're about to send all the amendments that have been done to the ordinances out to the vendor to have that printed. Excellent. Christina already has it in writing. Good. And I believe she already has it on the website. So uh, we're going to be very diligent about pursuing that and getting it so everybody understands what it is and how it works, uh, and and it protects the town at this point. Yes, excellent. That's very, very good. Oh. Um, Non-union oh. pay raises. Uh, in the past, in the past, um, selectmen were concerned about pay raises for non-union employees, um, not counting elected officials, just right. regular non-union employees. Um, the deal was when we started that, that the union contracts start on April 1st of a given year right. and expire on March 31st of another given year. So it seemed logical setting up the non-union pay raises that they would commence after the annual election on April 1st, um, predicated basically on the cost of living, which finance told me a couple of days ago in their uh, understanding is about 2% this year. 
Um, the board last year was very, very late in figuring out the non-union raises. And I believe that we should use the target date of April 1st, but we should make sure that we take care of any decision related to the non-union raises in the month of April, mm -hmm. no later than that. <coughs> and I thank you for your, your work on that. Um, <laughs> lapel pins. Fred, you mentioned that a couple of days ago, and I remember the um, problems after the Board of Selectmen several years back gave out plastic mm -hmm. pins of recognition. Uh, that's an insult to our um, employees, and we will have quite a number of employees leaving. What I would suggest is that we either get an engraved plaque for an employee who's leaving or a fine, nicely framed certificate and depending or not on the board's wishes, even possibly a, a certificate uh, to LeMay's or Galley Hatch or someplace is a little recognition. And when individuals are retiring from service to the town, they should be brought in here close to or just after the date that they have stepped aside so they can get public recognition from the board. And I feel very strongly about that. Um, just, we just, just in fact that finished that. everybody who, who retired. Yeah, Teresa fact, McGinnis retired at the end of August and, and Mr. McKinnon retired in, oh, at the end of July. And someone sent a reminder <clears throat> to recognize the employees. Um, so I would, I would just throw the lapel pins away if the board agrees. And uh, I have a couple of other comments that I will do under uh, yeah, I, closing I, comments. But thank you, Fred, for that. Fred, I have three questions. Sure. One, Kravitz article. Yes. On having it on the Warren article, all mm -hmm. the non-union raises. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that legally binding? Has Mark looked into that? He has. It violates RSA 37 colon 6. Okay. Do you want to just briefly? The say statute that that provides is? that there shall be an appropriation for money to be spent. Every year the selectmen uh, make that appropriation for all non union employees and it goes into an, an account held by the finance department. Uh, it is approved as part of the budget and is approved during the public hearings by the budget committee. The selectmen also approve it during their hearings. Uh, that's where the money comes from to pay the non-union employees. Yeah. The statute, although we don't do it this way in, in Hampton, the statute specifically says that the town manager is the only person that can approve raises or salaries for town employees. <laughs> and what I do is I ask the selectmen <laughs> to do that function because I think that's the way the system should function. Is this the, we go through the appropriation phase, there's money available, and the selectmen make a decision on how much those raises will be, uh, after they have uh, thought, thought through the process and seen how many employees there are, we actually provide a flow chart of where the money is and how it could be expended in different, different, different ways. And the board has opted to do that. That's how we operate the system, but the statute specifically does not allow what's in that warrant article. Okay, so it does not, so that is a, a non-binding warrant article. It's an advisory warrant article. Advisory warrant article, okay. The other one is the article on smoking on the beach. Well, I know there is a legal decision <laughs> on that. Actually, no, but there is a, a statute that governs smoking in public places, mm -hmm. but only where it affects its, its enclosed public spaces. For instance, if you had two employees uh, and they're in a motor vehicle and one of them was smoking and the other said, no, I don't want you to smoke, you can't smoke. <coughs> in fact, we have a regulation that says you can't smoke in our vehicles. Um, on a public beach, it's, there's no, it's no different than smoking on a street. Uh, it's very difficult to enforce unless somebody complains and they have to sign a complaint and go to court. That's almost impossible. The statute does not cover the depth of the uh, the article. Right, right. That's it's advisory. It's advisory. Okay, because I, you know, I just don't want the police being tied down with a million people this summer saying, "Hey, somebody smoking on the beach." You know, if, if you really want to get at the smoking, uh, and and we've already done this. I don't. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, if, if somebody really wants to get at it, 
there is a, an ordinance that prohibits the dropping of cigarette butts on the ground. Excellent. It's, it's litter. It's, it's, it's litter. Yeah. And, and, and if somebody wishes to make that complaint and file a report with the court, then they can do that. But that's, I think, as far as we can go. Okay, good. The one other question I had was there was, there was a Warren article, not this year, but the year before, on the study of downtown, the $350,000. Yes. What's the the status of that study? The article expires on the 31st day of this month. Uh, we have done the, uh, and that means that we can't issue a contract after that date. April 1st is a, is a dead, drop dead date. Mm -hmm. uh, we have issued a contract and we have the information from our electric utility company on what it would cost to do this. Uh, we have a proposal from our telecommunications company the telephone company uh, to spend five thousand dollars that that contract is pending and and we have yet to hear from our cable company surprisingly not uh, simply because they may not be interested uh, but we will have the telephone company uh, do their survey because that's what the article requires us to do <coughs> and we will then combine those figures and we are chasing the cable company by the way uh, and, and we've got I've got several people chasing them so I'm, I'm sure that they're going to have to run fast and hard for the folks who are chasing them uh, we'll try to have that one done by the 31st as well and get a complete picture to the board of what those costs and expenses were that were contained within the warrant article okay. Thank so you very can much. we Let's tell the uh, the cable company that if uh, they don't get their thing in and if and when the wires get moved they can pay for it themselves they can uh, there's a little tweak in the statutes I think it's RSA 236 that basically says if the Board of Selectmen votes to remove poles and wires and so forth they have to do it within a certain number of days or the town's free to cut the poles down uh, I'm not going to do that, but can that's... We, can we remind them of that? Uh, we have sort of gently nudged them in that direction. So uh, that we can get this done. You know, it was yes. a warrant article. It was done now yep. two warrants ago. Yep. And uh, we need to get that done. Yeah, we need to finish it, and we are putting a lot of pressure on them to get that done. So I'm hoping that by the 31st of this month, we'll have two contracts out. We'll be able to finish that work up in short order and get get on with it. Okay. Thank you. It's probably about a $10,000 expense. Right. 